This week, we hit a huge milestone at A Cloud Guru. We now have a million students on our platform. A million! I know! That's from a company that was started by two brothers, Sam and Ryan, from Sam's spare bedroom in his house. So what's the next goal I hear you ask? Well, 10 million! We just love teaching the world to cloud. So coming up on this millionth episode of the show, Key Vault grows into a service that plays well with others, especially functions. Azure Data Factory gets some machine learning injected, and I translate some Azure speak back into English. This is Azure This Week, a show finding the romance between Azure services as good as a daily soap opera, which I definitely don't watch. We all know that humans and passwords don't mix. We can remember no more than say three to five distinct passwords before our brains give up and we just start adding numbers at the end. You've done it, don't deny it. Azure Key Vault is a service to remove the human factor of storing and using passwords and other secrets. Azure Key Vault lets your other Azure services use its password management capabilities, but often this requires a code change which may not be easy to do. Key Vault references are a way to introduce secrets management into your app without code changes, and they are now available for Azure Functions and Azure App Services. Yay! Apps hosted in App Services and Azure Functions can simply define a reference to a secret managed in Key Vault as part of their application settings, and then Bob's your uncle. Last week, I covered the new Mapping Data Flows feature for Azure Data Factory. And this week, there is more good news for the data integration engineers. Azure Data Factory can now use machine learning. And because the whole idea of Azure Data Factory is to combine multiple large data feeds and manipulate and process them to get business value out of them, machine learning is an obvious addition. And it is as simple as adding a single step to your existing pipeline, which brings in the Azure Machine Learning Service. The seamless integration enables batch prediction scenarios such as identifying possible loan defaults, determining sentiment, and analyzing customer behavior patterns. Very, very cool. And this week's random collection of word award goes to this title for a bit of Azure news. Service-aided subnet configuration for managed instances in Azure SQL database is now in preview. What this is trying to say is that to make Azure SQL a little bit more safe, Microsoft is taking away some of the manual configuration knobs and dials you would normally get when setting up a subnet for the Azure SQL instance. And this in turn enables better security policies as well. That's it for the TAS, or Translation as a Service, offering here at A Cloud Guru. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team when we run out of beans for our cloud-powered Mocker Master 3000, seek and you shall cloud. So see you next week and keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Mm -hmm.